Well hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome to my channel. I want to do a quick review of the new Mountain Dew Zero flavor that is Baja Blue. Now they have regular Mountain Dew that's Baja Blue, of course. The Taco Bell flavors um, not always available, right? Well this is the first time as far as I know that because I'm addicted to the Mountain Dew uh, Zero. Comes in like the blackish can which and I'm not sponsored by Mountain Dew I wish I was but I am addicted to this stuff I know a lot of people don't like it surprisingly but I think it's really nice because I, I can't do the regular stuff I get to watch my sugar so um, you know this is a natural I always drink the Mountain Dew diet but it has such a kind of a sickly aftertaste that I find this one doesn't now this one has a little bit more sodium and a little bit more caffeine than the diet, but I really like this stuff. Um, so I'm going to open it. It's kind of like the the control group. And this is the one that I'm going to review. And I just saw I would compare it and contrast it to the to the zero maybe. But this is your Mountain Dew uh, Zero. That's the Baja Blast. So the cans look quite a bit alike. Of course, this just has the more bluish um, for the obviously Baja Blue. Um, but it is um, zero calories, 50 uh, sodium, zero carbs, zero sugar. So we shall see. No, you can smell the fruity punch uh, f smell of it right off the bat. Definitely hit you with the fruity flavors. It definitely um, kind of has a bit of the zero taste to it with the um, berry kind of taste. It's like, um, it's like they take out a little bit of lemony lime flavor out of the zero and add in just a bit of the berry flavor to it maybe. But it's darn good, I gotta say. I do think it's best when it's ice cold. This is like, you can see the, the sucker is ice cold. And um, I know everybody's different and tastes are one of those funny things. It's kind of like music or something you know you just can't help you like the way you're wired as far as something tastes good or doesn't taste good it's how you control but when you have something that's nice and cold like this it seems like um if there's ever like a medicine-y kind of taste i know it's before on the baja blues whenever you're dealing with like that berry taste Sometimes it reminds me of the old timey medicines where they try to um, use like a berry flavor to cover up something that wasn't very good tasting, you know, so they just throw that artificial berry flavor in there. And I think you get that more if, and people will probably, because I know some people like drinking their pop like at room temperature. Or just a slightly refrigerated or whatever. But I always think it just like kind of like beer. It kind of tastes best to me when it's ice cold. But each to their own. That's So I would, def I would buy this again. I mean it does not taste diet to me. Now obviously if somebody's coming from Mountain Dew regular and they're used to it. I'm sure they're going to be able to know right away that this is the zero version. But being, you know, accustomed to being on something that doesn't have the real sugar that is a diet product, 
this is hard pressed to say it doesn't taste good. I mean, it definitely doesn't taste like a diet product, so to speak, if that makes any sense. And that was what was refreshing about this one. Um, it's just the Mountain Dew diet has that diet sickly sweet, overly sweet finish, like aftertaste. Um, this and this has this kind of citrus aftertaste, like he has like a clean finish with a citrusy aftertaste that is in my opinion it's a lot more pleasing than the Mountain Dew diet but you know a lot of people probably depends on what you're used to and then you know everybody's wired different so anyway let me know what you think do you like the Baja Blue flavor do you like that kind of flavor what do you think about the um the Mountain Dew Zero, just the plain stuff. Is that good stuff? You like that, or do you like Mountain Dew Diet better? And obviously, if you like regular Mountain Dew, good for you. You can definitely let me know that too. Um, I don't really miss the sugared stuff, though. I mean, it's been so long. I guess like I don't know. I don't know what it would taste like now, even if I did have it. But, anyways. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out my uh, little review. I know it's a little not very scientific. I don't like write down notes. This is the first time I was having just fun to do it live. You know, I get a kick out of doing it. So, anyways, guys, thanks so much for your time. Until next time, we'll see you.